How to create a dashboard in Power BI? Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from KnowHub Academy. In this video, we are going to see what is the difference between a report and a dashboard. And we are going to see how to create a dashboard using a report in Power BI. Let's work on it. So I have a sample report that I have prepared. Now let me publish this report in my workspace and let me create a dashboard that always remember the report is something where you have lot of visuals in your particular report. For example, I might prepare a report of pages three, four pages, five pages of report with multiple uh, information with multiple visuals in it. But the point here is that we need to show that kind of information to our client. We need to show that kind of information to our customer where he or she can able to understand it by looking at those particular informations. For example, let me give you a real time example. We all go to hotels, right? So now when the hotel waiter gives us the menu card in order to select what kind of food we would like to order. So there will be the categories, right? So all starters at one place, all main course at one place, all soft drinks at one place, all non-veg at one place, all vegetarian items at one place, all Chinese items at one place. So in the same way, rather than giving the side headings, you know, starters, Chinese, veg, non-veg, main course and all, what happens if the kind, if the hotel management gives us a menu card with everything starting from serial number one to serial number 100, all the menus now is it it is very difficult right so if i would like to eat only starter i will go to the starter column and i will choose what starters i would like to eat so in the same way you might prepare 50 visuals you might prepare 30 visuals in three pages of report or four pages of report but only those visuals which are very important for the client to understand those visuals you are going to select it and that visuals itself you are going to show in the dashboard i hope you got the difference so the report is something where you prepare it in a very detailed way and out of those particular report which visual seems to be important in order to understand as part of the clients or the business perspective those visuals you will select it and pin it to the dashboard all right so i'll show you this so now as soon as you have prepared a sample report we need to publish the report okay so we need to publish the report first it is asking us to save the changes click on save now you need to select which workspace you would like to publish this particular report of yours. I have already prepared a workspace name by name practice. If you did not prepare a workspace earlier, what you can do, you can go to app.powerbi.com or we can go to Power BI service here. So as soon as you go to Power BI service, we have an option called as workspace and my workspace. Okay. So as soon as you see here workspace, I have already created a workspace by name practice. So you can create your another workspace. Let me create another one. I'm clicking on new workspace and I'm making this particular workspace name as sample workspace. I'm making the name of this workspace as sample workspace and I'm clicking on apply. As soon as I click on apply, a sample workspace is created. Now what I will do, I will come back to my Power BI desktop and now I will publish the report. So when I publish the report, it is asking me in which particular workspace you would like to publish it. So I have my sample workspace here. I'll click on the sample workspace which I have created and I'll click on select. As soon as I click on select, my complete report will be published in my Power BI service, which is completely a web version. You need to have a pro license in order to use it. So the successfully it got published. I click on gotten. Now I'll come back to my Power BI service, which is app.powerbi.com. Now you can see that in the sample workspace that I have created, I have got my report and I have got my semantic model that I have used in my particular report preparation part so now what i'm going to do i'll click on this power bi report so here what i'm going to do in this power bi report you can see that there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there are eleven visuals in it if you want to pin any specific visual okay if you for example let me first create a dashboard how to create a dashboard let me consider that I have this total customers as my particular chart and this I would like to show it in my dashboard. Okay. Or I have this 
sum of sales and sum of profit by month visual i want to show this in my dashboard so how should i do it so as soon as you place your cursor on this any or any of these visuals you will get an option called pin visual right so click on this pin visual as soon as you click on this pin visual it is asking you to create a new dashboard as you don't have any existing dashboard which you have earlier created so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new dashboard by name any name it's your choice i'll go with my dashboard okay i go with the name called my dashboard and i'll click on pin so i'm pinning my card chart with information total customers are 793 so i'll click on pin so now what i'm going to do in the same way i'm clicking i'm pinning my another visual which is sum of sales and sum of profit by month already i have my dashboard created my dashboard now i'll click on existing dashboard and I'll click on pin so now what i'm going to do if i go to the dashboard if i go to the dashboard you can see that these are the two visuals that i have pinned to my dashboard now when this particular visual comes in a dashboard we call it as a tile okay so this is one tile and this is another tile okay so like this you can pin n number of tiles to your particular dashboard all right so if you would like to do some changes to it okay for example this visual is too big okay? as soon as you click on the visual again your report will be opened up now you can come back to your dashboard and now what i'm going to do i'm reducing the size of it if you want to do some sort of edit you can edit the dashboard theme as well okay i'm clicking on the dashboard theme and as soon as you see this is light color i can go with the dark color something like this let me save it first so see this one like this you can change the dashboard theme as well if you have any uh, company organizations theme or if a company is giving you some sort of you know default theme that you have to use in every dashboard or every report you can download it i mean you have to upload it from your computer if you have it from your organization's perspective okay so i i have clicked on dark you know you, you can even go and customize it okay if i click on customize i can change my background color i can change my background color like this okay if you want to change the tile color yeah you can change the tile color as well for example i would like to go like this yes you can change the font color you can change the tile opacity so you can do a lot of changes if you would like to add some background image for this particular dashboard yes you can add the image as i told you so there are a lot of changes that you can do it when you prepare a dashboard so this is a point where i'm mentioning you that if you would like to pin a specific visual to a dashboard okay now i'm coming back to my particular report so now what i'm going to do rather than choosing a individual visual in order to pin or in order to show it to in a dashboard what my question is my question is that how should i make sure that my whole report got published in my dashboard okay my whole report got pinned to my dashboard i don't want to go with the individual uh, visual i would like to go with the complete report to show it in a dashboard then you have an option here in power bi service that as soon as you open up your report the page which i am showing it to you on the screen you can go and click on pin to a dashboard you can see these three dots here after edit and you can click on pin to a dashboard as soon as you click on pin to a dashboard it is asking that in the existing dashboard i would like to pin live okay i would like to pin live so as soon as i have done i'll go back to my dashboard my dashboard that i have created you can see that my whole dashboard has come up here okay so if you want you can pin the individual visuals if you want you can pin your entire dashboard okay so there are two options either you can whole pin the entire dashboard report as a dashboard or you want to go with an individual visuals yes you can choose the individual visuals and pin that individual visuals to the dashboard so any of the two things is correct but it purely depends upon the requirement and uh, what kind of visuals you would like to show as part of your dashboard here also you can do a lot of changes and finally share it to the client or customer so this is how a dashboard can be prepared and this is how a report can be shared in a dashboard so these are the important things that everyone should understand whenever you are preparing a report and trying to make a dashboard all right so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning